Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. My furry feline Raven is over on the couch snoring. She sounds so cute. So, um, I'm re-recording. My grandmother called and I had to talk to her. And then I was running really short on time. So, um, I have a whole other box of Papinelle. I'm about to show you guys. I got this from M. I got hers delivered yesterday. And then today, this morning, I got a box from Amy, and in that video, I had already showed you guys. So, I'm uploading this video Wednesday. So, hi guys, happy Wednesday. Um, the first thing I got when I, um, when I opened up the box, the first thing I saw was this. The biggest pack of yarn in the box. She sent me ten balls of this. Like, I feel like I won, uh, I feel like I won... Uh, a big yarn giveaway or something. This is so lovely. And uh, this is um, Rosetta Yarns Alaska. And this is in the colorway. Oh, it's made in Turkey, which is nice. It's colorway buff. 7927 is the lot. Like that. I don't know if that matters. This is nice and scarfable and extremely warm and cozy yarn. It's a three weight yarn. It is 44% acrylic, 26% polyamide, 15% fine merino wool superwash, 15% alpaca. So I was explaining to this to her on the phone. It's got so much content in the fiber of this yarn. The ac acrylic is mostly made of plastic and it keeps the yarn durable and long lasting. The polyamide is, makes things like baby smooth soft. Um, so it makes things more gentle and fluffier and softer and then the fine merino wool superwash it's not just your typical wool your typical wool has jagged edges which makes it felt when it's agitated and applied to heat um all the jagged fibers just kind of just mesh together and then they have no choice but to but to stay together and they can't separate so it being superwash wool it's already been super washed and relieved of those jagged fibers so that your wool will not felt and um it makes the wool smoother and easier to work with and not as harsh and scratchy and makes it just that much softer and 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 then alpaca um alpaca and wool are the two warmest animal fibers to keep human bodies warm um and then everything all together it's just a really nice plushy yarn it feels like a cloud like it feels like a cloud it is so gorgeous and fluffy so 10 balls of that, I thought a nice blanket would be perfect, but this is, um, oh, what was the yardage? 246 yards in 10 little cakes. It's way too big of a blanket to be hand washing and laying flat. Too fancy of a yarn to be using for just your everyday throw around blanket. So I thought it would be a great idea to put this on my knitting loom since these are a three lightweight yarn. That's a perfect yarn thickness to put on a knitting loom. I can make her hats and scarf sets for people, for friends and family. And then she sent me seven hanks of Premier Kayo. I guess it's Premier Kayo. Merino. This yarn is even more fluffy than the Alaska Rosetta yarn. And this is a chain spun yarn. This is in colorway ash. Them being small hanks though, it's only 240 yards. I could easily wind these up into a cake with my winder, or I could wind them up into a ball. Um, it's a very, very fluffy chain spun yarn, and they're beautiful hanks, and I can't wait to work with this. She got me seven skeins of this. Seven skeins. Thank you so much, Amy. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm, like, crying because of all the Happy Meal I just got, and I'm, I'm crying because... Today I'm recording this video. My grandpa's remains just got delivered to grandma. Um, and she's she's doing okay. She had family and the preachers over there. Um, I wish I could be there with her. But, you know, in quarantine day three, yay me. But anyway, more happy mail and positivity to look through, right? So this is color spun. 65% acrylic, 35% fine superwash merino. 419 yards in each cake. She sent me four of these, and one of the cakes are in this bag of yarn. I'll tell you about this bag, too, in a minute. 
is this some of the yarn that she sent me um this is premier and this colorway is called agate and this is a roving style yarn and it's this colorway reminds me of the mountains it's so gorgeous it's got a little bit of everything in it i like the purple tones the dark purple tones and i like the gray and black tones but this one has browns and earthy tones and it's got some navy blue mixed in it reminds me of the mountains it's so gorgeous i would love to live up in the mountains and go rock climbing live in colorado and you know smoke a little good medicine and, and, and just be all happy and, and live life to the fullest, right? And this is Premier Sweet Roll. She sent me two little cakes of this so I can make something for one of my nephews. It's a beautiful turquoise color. It's in the colorway Frosty Swirl. This is a number four weight yarn, 245 yards, 224 meters, five ounces, 140 grams, Sweet Roll. Um, so I'll be making. I can make. Uh, I can make two little lovies. I think is what I'm thinking. I can make. I can make one for my sister Sophia's baby. And I can make one for my sister Summer's baby. So they can have twin lovies. That'd be that'd be adorable, right? I could get two little bitty white teddy bears or baby blue teddy bears and make little lovies with that. That'd be so cute. Um, and then this is going to be a blanket. This these two together are going to be a blanket. This is Premier Bamboo Joy, and this is 50% bamboo, 50% acrylic. I've never worked with bamboo yarns ever in my life. I forgot to tell you that on the phone, Em. I've never ever worked with bamboo yarn, and I'm so blessed and thankful that you sent me a couple of these little skeins because I love, oh my goodness. I like the way it feels. I like, I like the way it feels in my hands. I am excited to work with this. This is a... Three weight yarn, 328 yards, 300 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, and it is says machine wash cold, lay flat to dry. It is made in Turkey, and it's the colorway mint. Again, it's Premier Bamboo Joy. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. And she sent me two of those again. So this will be more than enough to make a small little nice baby blanket. And um, I'm so excited to work with that. So let me tell you about this bag real quick, right? These bags, she sent me three of these. They come in a box. They are essential heavy-duty storage bags. They have new double zipper seals. Uh, they're great for storing, organizing, and protecting things. You can use them for blanket bags. You can keep toys in them. Um, you can store things in the garage. Keep your, um, she sent me to keep my yarn in them. And I can use them for project bags if I want to. They've got handles on them. I mean, that's awesome. There's three in a box. I'm not sure where she got them from. Probably from Amazon. Or maybe she bought them in her local store. Who knows? Thank you so much, M, for sending these bags. I love it. And I've got six, seven, seven things of yarn in here. Two cakes and five donuts. So... Let me tell you about the yarn that's in that, that's in here. See, double double zipper seal opens up real nice and wide. This is pretty much what size are these? Yeah, 15 inches by 15 inches. So it's a square shaped bag. So I showed you that she sent me three in a package of the color spun. Here's the fourth cake that's out of the package, and you can see those colors better. I hope you can see those colors. Try not to let the phone block the natural light. Aren't these gorgeous? Can you guys see those colors? You see it's got navy blue. There's a little bit of aqua right there. Just like a hint of slate aqua blue. There's some copper tones in there a little bit. And some taupey browns. And some anthracite blacks in there. And I, just, I can't wait to see what this looks like stitched up. This is a roving style yarn. It has a big fuzzy halo. I recommend hand washing, laying flat to dry. In fact, that's what it says. Hand wash, lay flat to dry, pretty much. If you have a spin dry tub, no heat. Pretty much a salad spinner, just a giant salad spinner. That's a spin dry wash tub. Um, those... 
will do fine and I'll take it out of my spin tub dryer and um, lay it flat to dry the rest of the way. Um, but this is gorgeous. This is again 419 yards in each cake. There's the specs. She's really hooking me up with Premier since I have a um, affiliate link. And if you click on that link when shopping for your Premier yarns, I get a small percentage back of however much you spend. And my goal for any funds I earn through that is to give back to the channel by using that to to buy more yarns to show you guys. And um, most pretty much 90% of that yarn I will be putting into giveaways. And some of the yarn I'll be making little gifts for you guys too. I love making like little bitty hand thingies. One time I made like a little bitty basket and a little bitty darning needle holder thingy. Um, I love making just little little, little knickknacks and surprises to put in giveaways and stuff. Um, and then that one, this cake I'm going to show you guys last because it's the ultimate softest she sent me. This is Merino Mist from Rosetti Yarns. I've never worked with Rosetti Yarns, so she not only sent me the Alaska Rosetti, the Alaska Rosetti, she sent me the Merino Mist Rosetti. And this colorway is called Rain Cloud, and it's a chain spun yarn. And look at that shine. Look at that shine. She sent me five donuts. This is called a donut. And it is a three lightweight yarn. It is 60% viscose, 20% acrylic, 20% fine merino wool superwash. Again, this wool has been superwashed. It's not jagged. It won't felt as much. Um, but it's 20%, so... That's the main reason you want to hand wash and because viscose makes things more fragile viscose is pretty much a softener it's kind of like rayon I think um, it's not really the best chemical agent um, and the fibers for your skin it's not really good to wear long term but something like this would make like a gorgeous beach cover-up um, or a summer top in fact I think that this would be really really great for like um, not anything summery because it does have wool in it. Um, this would make a gorgeous scarf or cowl. Um, this would make um, a nice lacy top for like the fall. Um, you could make like a solid sweater out of this or a cardigan. Um, how many yards is, is here? How many yards? Oh my goodness, it's got to have an amount of yards on here. Why doesn't it say? 167 yards. There we go. They're 50 gram donuts. The print is kind of small. 153 meters, 1.75 ounces. Again, 167 yards. And so five of those, it's five, six, so it's over 700 yards. So this would make a nice granny square cardigan. I, I think that would be really, really pretty. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with these, so I really want to do something right with this because again I have to hand wash this and lay it flat to dry so um, maybe like a short sleeve cardigan or three quarter I like the three quarter sleeves a lot they are at least half sleeves go down to my elbows um, I think those are most comfortable for me and then um, she sent me this spool I have another cake to show you guys but she sent me this spool I wanted to show you um, I was disciplined with only one thing and I failed to mention this to her over the phone um, when I saw the size of this thing and read the stats I was like as big as this is it's only 543 yards look how much space this takes up and she did complain about that too I love the um, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at it's a very gorgeous transition of color from teal to taupe this taupey brown reminds me of the chocolate almond paint that I bought to paint a fireplace with. I moved into an apartment and the red brick was had white paint splatter all over it from, from them repainting the walls. And I called the office. I'm like, look, y'all's fireplace looks pathetic. Can I paint it? They're like, yeah, sure. I'm like, I don't mind buying the paint, you know, and doing it myself. I'm maintenance certified and I love painting. Um, and I went to uh, the local store and I bought a paint color. It, it is actually called chocolate almond. And it was that exact taupey brown color right there. Um, and I love teal. So I love this yarn. It has a sheen in it. This is an anti-peeling acrylic yarn from Premier. It's Premier Anti-Peeling Everyday Bobbin. There's the stats. But just seeing the size of this spool, I'm like, it's only 543 yards. You think there would be at least a thousand yards on this thing? I mean, look how big this thing is. It's 
as big as my head. It's only 543 yards. So like, like we're all about space saving these days. It's like why would why would they spool it up like this? I mean, look look how thick look how thick that cardboard is that they have the yarn on. Look at that. Why waste all that cardboard? Just, I'm disappointed in that. I'm huge about um, being environmentally friendly. I don't recycle like I would if I had, because I don't drive. I don't have a car. I have a driver's license. I just don't have a car right now, and and I choose not to drive right now for various reasons. Um, but I'm very environmentally conscious. I care about reducing, reusing, recycling. And um, if if I had services that would come pick up my recycling goods, I would I would love to have to, to have that done. But there are no services in my area, unfortunately. Um, I've done things in the past to recycle, though, and I have family members that recycle, so that's a good thing. Um, but uh, I do have these. These are cardboard spools from the paper towels. I snagged a couple of these from work. I'm going to crochet um, like a little um, pouch to go over these. And it, you'll have like a little drawstring pouch to store pins or crochet hooks in here. Um, and these will be really fun and cute to use to store to store your crochet hooks in or something. Um, but anyways, um, I'm, I'm environmentally cautious. We only have one earth. You know, we need to take care of it so future generations can enjoy the earth and live here peacefully too. Um, it'd be nice if everyone could live more peacefully, but you know, we do what we can, right? So the last cake I have to show you is the Premier Butterfly. She sent me one little cake and I was so thrilled, so thrilled to receive this. This is the exact cake that Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches used to make her baby blanket. She knitted half of it and then it was taking forever and um, so she crocheted the rest of it. I'm so glad she did. It looks so gorgeous. Um, this colorway is called Wildflowers and that's the way it works up. It's mostly this cream, peachy cream color and then you have those colors in the middle. This is such a gorgeous cake, and I can't believe how soft and plushy this is. Like, she said this is buttery soft. Like, she wasn't kidding. 546 yards, 500 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams. It's a lightweight number three. This is 100% anti pulling acrylic, and you see it has a sheen in the yarn. I hope you can see that. Can you see that sheen? And the yarn, can you see that? So gorgeous. Okay, so my idea for this was to start with the peachy cream, start from the outside, and make a lovey, and then these colors will make a nice, beautiful border around the edge of the lovey. Right? Right, I can find this beautiful little white or soft pink teddy bear. And, and I can make, it would be a large lovey, um, but I think what I'm really going to do is just make a blanket. I'm going to start from the center and, and just work and then, and then crochet around and around and around. But I'm going to start with the peachy cream and I'm going to work my way towards the center and the purple will be the border. This will be the, the border of the blanket. So this is going to be a baby blanket because it's way too much yardage for a lovey. Um, this will be a gorgeous blanket from the center out. So um, I can't wait to do that. Oh my goodness. I would love to get a butterfly cake in boy colors and make a blanket for one of my nephews. But I have plenty of yarn to work with right now. Um, this yarn does look like it might split. I can definitely see why when Jennifer was talking about using her knitting needles on this. Because even your pointy chai boo needles would make this split. Um, this is so gorgeous. Okay, she sent me a few other things in here. I need, we need to get to step in here. We only have so much time left. She sent me a couple of hooks. I was looking at these several months ago last year, and I almost bought some. But these are crochet hooks that are being sold through Lion Brand Yarns. And the artist behind the design of these hooks, her name is London K. London spelled like the country and last name K-A-Y-E. Here's her picture on the back. This pink one is a 11.5 millimeter. It'd be great for making blankets and large scarves. And this blue one is a 20 millimeter. This would be great for making rugs. 
Candy at Blue Rat Style made a rug video several months ago and inspired me to make a rug for my bathroom, which I still have yet to do. And I think I'm going to try to use this hook, and, I, and I'm going to try to do a re re review on these hooks at some point, too. Um, so thank you very much, M, for these hooks. I'm excited to work with these. She sent me some little hair clips. These are great for pinning the tail end of your yarn down on when you wind up a, a ball of yarn. These are great for clipping um, the tail ends or attaching um, the tail end to your ball band um, in your skein. It's also great for using for stitch markers. You can put clip this onto your live stitch so you don't lose it if, when you put your work down. Um, she sent me a happy planner. Here's the back label, the back of it. It's got kitty cats all over it. She sent me a happy planner. It's got cute little tab dividers in here. There's a kitty cat. It's a raven. And it's pretty much, you know, just a whole month on both pages. And then I have, and then I have larger areas to write notes for the days and stuff. Um, so thank you so much, Em. And these pages can be interchanged out. And and then she sent me some stickers to go with it. Happy, happy planner stickers. And just flip through real quick. You guys can see some of the stickers. Just a variety of stickers. Some of them have shine. I used one already. This, these, these are my favorite. You got this girl. You got this girl. So I already used one of those. And just, you know, all kinds of stuff to use to help with your planner and stuff. All kinds of stickers. And um, she sent me this cute little alpaca book, which is funny. She didn't do this. It was the way it was. It was already packaged up like this. You got this cute little alpaca on the front cover, and when you open it up, all the little sticky notes are upside down. <laughs> right? So I gotta flip it around, and then I, when I reclose it, the alpaca llama is the llama is upside down. The alpaca is upside down. But that's okay. That's hilarious. I found humor in that. It's hilarious. But that's my favorite right there. The llama, alpaca, or whatever, and the rainbow. He's so cute. And these are great for jotting down little reminders or marking your pages. And these are even great if you read. You can mark um, your page. Um, you can mark your paragraph where you left off so you don't lose your place when reading. And then she sent me a pair of um, fringe cutting scissors. Fringe cutting scissors. I've never had a pair of these before ever. These are not cheap. So when I make blankets or if, I, if I'm sewing doing some sewing work and I want to cut some fringe um, I can definitely use these in my sewing room thank you so much Em it's so sweet of you to send me all this stuff and she sent me some hair conditioning um, deep henna infused deep conditioner henna apparently has mahogany in it and it and it um, colors your hair a little bit because I color my hair a dark brown and it has like a burgundy tint. Um, I think my hair color is called deep burgundy or something. I just buy the cheap Revlon. Um, and I washed my hair this morning. I completely, completely forgot to use it. But I also wanted to show you guys the package that she sent me. And I'm going to try it. And if I like it, which hope, I'm sure I will, I'm going to go invest in a big bottle of this or something and try some. But this is, um, this indulgent deep conditioning mask is infused with nature's gift, henna. It noticeably improves hair texture, intensely moisturizing it to give you, you soft hair that shines with health. So I've got 30 seconds left on this video now. Thank you so much, M, for this Happy Mill box. I'm going to go sit and relax and crochet now and enjoy all my goodies. Please pray for my grandma, y'all. I'm good. I feel great. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and having a good work week. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a like on the video and leave hearts in your comments for Valentine's for the remainder of February. Leave hearts in your comments, guys. I love you guys. Y'all be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.